video i haven't been posting for a while and because i've been on vacation and i didn't get the time to do any unboxing but before i even get into that happy new year's hope you guys are having a wonderful new year's hopefully everybody safe you know the covid and everything is going on but let's get back into this video as you can see by the description i'm going to be doing a unboxing and a review from the description below so i'm not going to give it away but anyway let's get into this unboxing hopefully i did start to do the video but the footage did not save because the storage on my phone is that but that's not a problem but here's the box this is from walmart i did open it already because like i said i did a, was doing a video on it but here's the inside i don't know if you guys could see it but here it is and this is the sony digital camera zv1 and i this was recommended by another youtuber and it does have a lot of good reviews so but i want to see for myself and this was about 749 dollars with the tax and the insurance it came out to like 849 dollars i believe and i got this at best buy so let's open it and let's see what's inside they do have the accessories as well but i did not get those because it was just a selfie stick that was 149 dollars but it was the selfie stick was good but do i think it's worth it probably not because i got something similar on amazon for like 39 dollars so let's see if i could get this open and then we could get into it so finally got it open and here we go inside we do have a manual and a booklet and some other random paper manual booklet i guess with a warranty one year warranty i guess it's accessories that you could buy and then what's this the guide the manual which is in Spanish and English, so that's good. And then we have more paper. Another guide, the English version. And then we should have the camera. Cute. So inside we have what do you call this? I think it was like the wind duster or something. I don't know the exact name, but I think it's like supposed to prevent the wind. From getting into your camera then we have the wire right there and then i can see some batteries or one battery then you have one battery okay cool one battery sony npbx1 battery let's put that to the side and then of course you have the camera hopefully it's charged here's a camera it's really small which is good there you could open it that's the main my main thing about the camera you could open it you could see when you're doing a video and you could just close it let's see if it could spin and oh you can spin it as well there we go it's been you could close it either is the way you could close it close it that way or you could close it this way so let's figure out how to use this camera on the back you can see a bunch of buttons right there at the top you have the power button the mode button and the on and off I don't know how and over here is just where you will put the wires so first thing first let's put the battery in the battery will go right there I've got to figure out where I can find a USB so I think you just go down like that no if there's an instruction on which way to put it in so there's an arrow right there so 
Okay, yes, that's work. Let me go and find a plug to put a battery in. I took the card from my other camera, which is this camera that I have. So I'm just gonna be using these ones for to take pictures. The thing that I didn't like with these is that I can't see myself when I record on this. So I can't tell if it's recording or not, but let's put it here. I'm gonna put this card inside here, right next to the battery. Just close it and voila. Now let's see if it's charged. So I'm just gonna flip it the other way so I can see what's going on. And it is charged because it's on. So I have English, so it is not touch screen as you can see, nothing is touching. All right, so let's, I'm gonna try this button. Yep, set your date and your time, can you see it? I'm just gonna take a picture. So I took a picture of the website and I went on the website on here on my tablet so we can see, but here is what's showing. Let me look at the quality. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the quality. It's even for being inside, like it is great. It's a, it's a it's like picking up everything is 4K. It gets blurry and then it try to focus. There you go. It does try to focus. Let me so it's recording right now like the quality is amazing i do like it so far i'm gonna show you something let's open it let's turn around you can see it came out i did not pull it out once you click record it's coming out so i'm gonna see the difference in quality but this is what i'm gonna be using the battery is dying so i just want to like make it quick but you plug this portion over here when that's how you just lift them as you can see and it opens you just plug it there now let me try to figure out how to close this part i guess once you turn it off it goes in no i turn it off and it did not go in so and now it goes in Okay, so once you turn it on, it goes in. Once you turn it off, it goes back so in. Oh, let me. But there's so you could put it on like your selfie can, your selfie stick or that. And with that being said, let's get into the accessories because I did buy some accessories to go with it. These ones I got off Amazon because you know Amazon is your best friend. So the first thing I got is this dust bag, dust cover. So. I could prevent dust from going into it and inside I have the glass screen protector did not know that was gonna come with it the cleaner of course there you go the cleaner and the wipe is on it as you can see it's right there and everything now this is a case that i got for it and i got this on amazon as well and I, one thing i forgot to show you is how to put this i'm sorry this portion on if you look there is this clip right there you just have to remove it and then you just have to just put this part on it this is a if you're outside and the wind is blowing it will stop the wind from going to your camera but i'm just gonna keep this off for now so i don't end up losing this part i'm just gonna put this here and then since i have the case i'm just gonna put it inside the case 
now next i also have this portion which i got on amazon they have different colors but i chose the white color because that's the only color that i actually like since i didn't have black then you're just gonna push it through here just be careful it's rubber but it could burst this is the cover portion you could like remove it as you can see there and the name so you could easily see which button is which so you could just turn it on and turn it on it's op it open the flap and then you close it and it's gone there we go there we go so just it on amazon and it's this cute little selfie stick that has the record button right there i will link everything down in the description you could just open it this is a charger self stick so you do have to charge it i don't think you can go any you could pull it any longer you just have to like hold it or put it on your table like something like this but i like it because you just you do all it and just put it on your so let's just put it on here so you have an idea what I'm talking about and I'm not just flapping. So as you can see the case does not affect but so far I like it. I'm gonna be using it to record my next videos. So thank you guys for watching and I will link everything down in the description. And I hope you guys like it because I do like it. Okay, bye guys.